Shalom to Rabbi Eli Feldman from the Chabad of uh, Sydney, Australia. Shalom, shalom. So you're in touch with the, the family, the family that was attacked in uh, Sydney, and you're in touch, of course, with the communities there. What can you tell us about the feeling uh, a few days after this uh, violent incident? I think that uh, both the Jewish community and the, the, the larger Australian uh, community are shocked by this type of uh, thing. Um, any violence is, is not acceptable in, in our society, particularly um, when it's associated with uh, with uh, racial violence and, and uh, you know attacking anti-Semitism, so that's something which um, you know has been condemned across the board by uh, the the government, um, the Australian government leaders, and by the police. The police have acted very quickly, uh, and uh, you know this has been all over the news uh, with the television and the and the newspapers, and uh, it's pretty much um, you know reflective of Australian society that uh, this type of thing is not on. It's uh, it's not uh, accepted accepted by the mainstream, uh, and it's uh, an act of some 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 thugs. Now, at this point, uh, how is this uh, attack being categorized as uh, anti-Semitic or maybe thug violence? It's it's very very clear that there there was an anti-Semitic element there. Um, there's no question that uh, you know they they hurled anti-Semitic remarks at the family. Uh, they then proceeded to to attack them physically, uh, so it was uh, there's definitely an anti-Semitic element there. Uh, the, the criminals, um, uh, you know, um, uh, as has been uh, an, uh, just announced by the media, that they were a couple of them were out on bail, breach of bail, uh, which means to say that they were already uh, in trouble with the law and other matters. So we're talking about people who are hanging around in the street after midnight, uh, people who have got a criminal record. Um, you know, and this is something uh, which um, this is something which uh, indicates that it's not the regular Australian here. Uh, it's uh, something which is a an exception rather than the rule. So you're saying, and maybe you'd like to emphasize that this attack is really out of the ordinary. Correct. It's not a phenomenon. Thank God, Australia is a great country. It's a country that's never had any state-sponsored anti-Semitism uh, for the 200-year history that Australia has had. Um, it, it's always been friendly to Jews. There were Jews in, in Australia from the very beginning. Uh, Australia has always been a welcoming country to the to the Jewish people, uh, and the society is a very tolerant one. and um, And that has not changed. Uh, of course, so we're all shocked by this event, but we believe that this is a uh, this is an exception rather than the rule. So, Rabbi Feldman, you know, as an educator, as a person who tries to direct people to the spiritual, to the Jewish attitude towards events. What is your uh, educational message these days following this uh, violent incident? Well, the natural natural reaction, of course, is uh, you know when a person gets attacked and when a community gets attacked, uh, you know the natural reaction is revenge, and uh, you know people um, uh, want to see you know what what punishment is going to happen. And um, on a very basic level, of course, that those people who have uh, perpetrated this act uh, should face the full force of the law um, uh, under the justice system. But broader than that, as a community, we don't have people, uh, the Jewish community, going out there and, and, and encouraging any violent acts in return. Um, there's, a, there's an old Jewish expression, a little bit of light pushes away a lot of darkness. Uh, and we, uh, as a community and, and the family uh, in particular, um, want there to be more light, more love, more caring, more tolerance. Uh, and uh, so that this type of thing doesn't happen to Jews, doesn't happen to anyone from any ethnicity, um, where uh, this type of behavior, uh, this darkness is pushed away by light, by love, and, and, by, uh, uh, and, and by brotherhood. Rabbi Eli Feldman, Chabad, Sydney, Australia, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, and Shnishmarak uh, Amen.